Hi, I'm Cody with Low Range Off-Road and this is another how-to video. Today we will be telling you how to test struts and shock absorbers on and off your car. Now the struts that I have in front of me are for a 92 Suzuki Sidekick, but the test can be used the same for shocks. Okay, the first test that I'm going to tell you about is with the strut or shock installed on your vehicle. It's what you do is you walk up to it and push up and down a few times on the front or rear bumper and then let go and step back and the car should stop bouncing instantly and that's the best way to tell if your strut is still good. Now the next test with the shock or strut still in the vehicle is a visual inspection. Now as you can see on this strut here it's covered in oil and that's a good indication that the shock has leaked oil out and the other test that you can do is by lifting out the boot then look at the shock shaft as it enters the body and check to see if there's oil puddled up around the body. And that's also another indication that it is leaking oil. Now the next test that we're going to tell you is with the shock or strut removed from the vehicle and it's pretty simple. What you do is you push down on the strut or shock and then pull back up. Now the key is to feel how much resistance you feel as you compress it or decompress it. On a good strut, you should have a lot of resistance both ways, and on a bad one, you won't have hardly any. So we're now going to go ahead and show you that. As you can see, I'm just using two fingers, and it's really not much to compress this shock. So once you get down all the way, you want to extend the shock. And the shock has a little bit more resistance becoming ex and extended. But once again, I mean, I can just let go and it falls down. So even though it has good resistance extending, but has hardly any compression, it means it's a bad shock or strut. So we're then going to show you a brand new one and how much resistance it has both direction. So you're going to want to compress it and then extend it. And once again, you should have resistance both ways. And something to note on these two struts that we're testing here is that they are gas struts. So they're going to extend automatically. Some of the struts you will test won't do that, but you just want to feel for resistance as you pull it out or compress it. And this has been another how-to video with Lower Range Off-Road, so please join us again next time.